I've cleaned this out real good. That's got a strainer in it. And this is a Viva paper towel. It's not a regular paper. It's a good one. It's, it's a special absorbent towel. And uh, it costs a little more money. It's worth it though. Now here's what I'm going to do. I generally take this oil that I've been using and scrape down the sides of the bowl here. This is, I've been frying some chicken and stuff with this. And I want to stir all that, those particles up that were on the bottom real good. I'm going to use this oil again. But I don't want it to be to have anything in it. I don't want it to be contaminated or nothing. I'm going to get it to be clear. So, what I'm going to do is pour this oil in that See that? Clean as a bell. Get every bit of that out of there. Now that'll sit there and drip for all night. I don't care. Because I'm not going to use that today. I'm just going to let it drip through that. And buddy, that towel does a good job of removing all of those particles out of that oil. It'll look just like new oil. And take the smell out of that oil too. But it'll be good used oil. It ain't going to be the new stuff. Because uh, a lot of recipes you're going to use. You don't want brand new oil. You want oil that's been flavored. This will still have that flavor in there. It'll be good. Now you can keep doing this over and over again. Until... The oil starts tasting, taking on a, a burnt taste. Then you just need to pour the oil out into a back into the original container, and then take it out there and sit it by the doggy dish. And when you give him some of that old dry, nasty dollar store dog food, you sprinkle some of that good old grease from that chicken frying on top of it. That's how you get him to to like that stuff. There is your oil, all strained out. I could double strain it if I want to, but I don't feel like I need to. And I can leave this little bit of oil that's in here in here and add water to that and cook beans or whatever. To flavor that pot. So that's the name of that game. All ready to use again. You can't just buy new oil every damn time you want to cook something. Yeah, unless you're rich. <laughs> Plus the oil gets better each time you use it. Unless it gets better. Now if you was to fry your chicken again with the remainder of last week's fallout particles in the bottom of the pan, it's not. that's going to be a total disaster. You need to clean your oil every time you use it. Strain it, put it right back in the pot, clean pot, clean oil, start kicking again. The end.